Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So this is week three assignment of the course programming in Java. So guys, for the past five years, we have been giving these solutions. So with that experience, we are uh, now giving these solutions, guys. So do watch full video without skipping. If we skip the video, you may miss some content. So do watch full video. So now let's see the first question. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your friends groups so that it can reach maximum number of students. So don't forget to like the video guys. So first one, in which of the following scenarios the static block is used in Java? So for the first question, the correct answer is option C to initialize static variables. So mark option C. So guys, if there are any changes to be made and if you have any doubts regarding change of solution, please give your opinion in the comment section guys. I hope almost all questions are correct. In case if there are any changes that come to my notice, I will definitely update it, that in the comment section. And please inform me from your end also if you observe any. So now let's move on to the second one. So they have given uh, they have given a code and here they have given a blank. So they are asking in which of the which of the following options will replace this uh, blank in order to get successful compilation. So I have did this in my compiler guys. So when I did this I have got option C along with option D. These two uh, I have got as the correct answer so mark option C and option D and now let's move on to the third question so they have given the code here and they are asking for the output for the third question so when I did this in my compiler so I have got this one that means option C so mark option C as correct answer for third question. Now let's move on to the fourth question. So fourth one, which of the following statement or statements is or are false? So for fourth question, the false statement is option D. You cannot de declare new methods in the subclass that are not in the superclass. So actually it is you can declare, but they have given not, right? So it is not the correct statement. So mark option D. Now let's move on to the fifth question, guys. So guys, don't forget to like the video and share the video within your WhatsApp groups. So those two are mandatory for us to get more reach and we can come more closer to the students. So now let's move on to the fifth one. So fifth question, which of the following statements is or are true? So guys, for fifth question, we have got three solutions. The first one is option A, next one is option B, and the final one is option D. So mark A, B, and D. So mark option A, option B and option D. Now let's move on to the sixth question. So sixth question. So consider the following program and so they have given a program and they are asking what is the output, output of the above program. So for sixth question, uh, what I have got when I did the compilation is option A P R G A M. So this is the output that I have got uh, after the execution of the above code. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the seventh question, guys. So before going into the seventh question, I want to make a small announcement. 
So guys, uh, we have prepared exam preparation MCQs and there are two types of packs, savings pack and super savings pack. So these are PDF access. So in savings pack, you will get 150 MCQs. Whereas in super savings pack, you will get 300 huge number of MCQs. So for uh, 150 MCQs, the price is 300 rupees guys. So you will get for up to three members access. So three members can use this uh, 150 MCQ pack. And coming to the uh, 300 MCQ spec, so the price is just 500 only, guys. The amount is not doubled here. And here you'll get access for up to five members. So for each person, you can uh, contribute 100 rupees so that you can. But you need to form a group in order to purchase this, guys. Or if one person can also uh, purchase this for the same 500 amount only. So if you form a group and you can, if you buy, then you'll uh, then you'll reduce the burden right so that's it guys so validity is till the exam day you can get the validity guys even if the exam date is postponed we will uh, increase the period also guys no need to worry so it's better to take this i suggest this 300 mcqs pack only because you are getting more mcqs more mcqs means more practice more practice leads to better grade right so my suggestion personally is make you uh, to make you uh, purchase this pack because you are getting 300 mcqs for just 500 only so till the exam day you'll get the access guys up to five members can utilize this and topic coverage is also very high and whereas topic coverage in this is medium and search option is also available for both of these packs and it's also easy to revise because you can easy to uh, uh, scroll the pdf even going to the exam so so that's it guys so with nearly five years of nptl experience we are giving these solutions so it includes previous years uh, assignment questions also so if you want any of these packs please message to this email id guys i will give this uh, mail id in the description and also in the comment section also so only if you want to purchase then only message me guys so this is the email id already many students have taken this pack so hope you join in that list and get benefited and the other thing is so we have also uploaded some mcqs videos guys so these are members only videos so if you see here so 119 rupees membership pack so it will be available in video format you cannot download that it's video format and only for one month guys so youtube membership for one person only it is 119 rupees so how to join in that membership i will show you first go to our channel page so this is our channel page so click on join button here so select so you can select 119 per month pack here and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of channel and you can get access to all our premium videos so go to the playlists option so there is nptl exam preparation videos playlist right so click on that and you can see there are a lot of videos here so in that there is also thing called java so here you can see part one video and part two video also available so like that you can join our channel guys so now let's get back to the solutions so for seventh question so i have got option a guys so mark option a as correct answer for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one so they have again they have given a similar i mean a code or a program and they are asking output right so they're asking wait a minute so yeah so if the program is executed then what will be the output from the execution so when i did this so i have got the answer as option a guys 1700 so mark option a as correct answer for eighth question now let's move on to the ninth one so guys for ninth question i have got two solutions i mean three solutions the first one is option a next one is option b and final one is option d guys so mark a b d now let's move on to the final question that is tenth one so for this the answer is option d guys so friends these are the solutions so keep supporting us like this so until the next video thank you guys please like and share the video